Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another video today. This time it's a nymph video and I'm going to be tying using these turkey quills. These turkey quills make nice flies, it's often overlooked. I often forget about them, but they're really great for small nymphs like we've been fishing here. It's summertime and uh, as, you know, as you get out of early trout season and into the warmer water, the flies get smaller and so does what the fish's diet. So we go smaller and uh, these turkey quills is a great way to get there. And um, one of the popular patterns you know would be Kevin Compton's cinnamon toast pattern. You can look at my old video if you want to see that one. Um, this is just a generic turkey nymph, turkey quill nymph and uh, I'm just using mixing up Kellers here. So let's get into tying it here, but before I do that, I'm going to show you a couple different Keller variations that I tie it in and use it. And, uh, and I'll give you the Kellers that I use with the picture so you know what to look for. Okay, to tie this fly, it's really simple. It's just a couple pieces of material. It's a hook, a bead, a tail, and a body material, and a little collar for a dubbing. So let's get into tying it here. What we're going to start out with is a Tretta upside downy in a size 16, tied in a size 16 and 18. Um, that's your what's going to be your best sizes. You could tie it bigger if you wanted to, but that's that's the area that I would stay in. And uh, for a bead, I'm using a 2.4 millimeter bead to match it. The thread on this one, the one I'm going to tie here is the light olive color. And the thread I'm using is fluorescent chartreuse. And it is 140 denier ultra thread. And I'm just going to start it on here behind the bead. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push up against that bead, hold it into place, make a couple wraps there, and get it centered where I want it and then that'll hold it into place. Now the next thing we're going to do is use some cocktail on for a tail and I'm going to use about five or six fibers here, not that many just a couple, enough to see it. I'm just going to pull them off and then the way I'm going to put them on is I'm going to hold it up against the hook like this and I'm going to hold it at an angle and I'm going to angle it upwards and I'm going to tie it on on the side and then as I tighten it down it'll wrap right up on top like that and it'll be right down the center of the top of the hook so we're just going to pull this back here get it at the length we want it which is about the body length and I'm going to tie it right back to where it starts to roll back over the hook you can see it there actually I'm going to take a wrap off of it and then we'll cut off our tag end now the next thing we're going to use is these turkey quills and what I'm going to do, on the one side, actually you have the, the biot, okay? That's another great thing about these things. On one side you have the turkey biot, and on the other side you have the pieces of quill. So you're actually getting lots of material out of this at a low price. Um, I'll use these for my tails on my stoneflies and different things like that, and then I'll use these for the quill body. So we're going to peel off, and we're going to take like one of these off, one per fly, and uh, actually I'm going to use two. This one I'm going to use olive. I'm going to tie that on on one side. And tie it in by the tip end, not by the butt end. Okay, and on the other side I'm going to use golden stone. And the two of these together will keep it light, but also keep it a green color. And keep it that olive color, which we're looking for to imitate a blue winged olive. So we just tie them on by the tips and bring them back to the tail and then I'm going to bring my thread up. Now the next thing I'm going to do, which is optional but it will help you out in the long run, is I'm going to take a little super glue, just a little, there we go, and I got a lot, like a, so I'm going to take my bodkin here, take some of that off. There we go, and spread it around. So now I got super glue covering this, and this is going to hold my bias in place. I like doing it this way because it strengthens your fly a little bit because I'm not using any wire. And then I'm just going to take the two side by side and wrap them up, and it's going to give you a nice alternating color. 
And I don't get real particular with this. You know, I try to... It sometimes will get a little bit bigger in areas and, sm and smaller. And it's so small of a fly that it's not going to make a huge difference. So we get it up there to the bead, trim it off. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tiny bit of dubbing. This is a size 16. It does not take very much dubbing. So just a very small amount. And we're going to dub it on there. Just enough to make a visible collar. There you go. The color on this one is Dragonfly Olive. This is the SLF Prism, um, SLF Dubbing Blend, Whitlock's Dubbing Blend. And uh, I really like this color. It's great for this. And that is all that's to it. We're going to whip finish it off and we're done. So, simple little pattern. It only took me a couple minutes to tie. Longer to talk about it than it did to tie. And it catches fish. These are great patterns to use. Like I said, um, early summer, when the nymphs start to get small, give it a try. All right, I hope you enjoyed this simple pattern. It's not hard to tie, and it only takes a couple pieces of material. And, like I said, it's pretty cheap stuff. The, the quills are only $2.19 here at the shop. And uh, so you can pick up a couple packs, and we even offer it in a combo pack with a a couple, I think like five or six different colors in it. So there it gives you another option to, to expand your tying at a very low price. And uh, these are flies that are going to work, like I always tell people when I'm out guiding and stuff, roll over a rock. See how many of the mayflies under it are the size 16s and 18s and 20s. So don't be afraid to fish these. These are the flies that are going to catch fish. And also, when you're looking under the rock at them, Take one of these flies and lay it up against the lay it up against those mayfly nymphs and things because the silhouette's going to match perfectly on them. That's the that's the key why they work. You don't need the legs and all that fancy stuff. You just need that silhouette and the color helps a lot. So, just a couple simple tips here today that help you tie as a nice fly. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please hit the subscribe button here on the video and uh, also you know stay on my channel here at the end I'm gonna have a couple uh, options for you you can watch one of my other videos um, subscribe to my channel or you can go to the shop if you want to buy the materials you see here on the video so as always guys thanks for watching and please look us up on our other social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook until next time I'm Sean Holsinger